Rabbi arrested. The Miami Beach religious leader accused of a sickening crime tonight involving some of the community's most vulnerable. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juwan Strader. And I'm Trina Robinson. In for Jackie tonight, that rabbi out of jail tonight after he was charged molestation of an 11-year-old girl. NBC6 reporter Stephanie Bertini joins us live from Miami Beach with more tonight. Stephanie. Well, this is the art gallery where police say it all happened, and people around here told us the rabbi owns this place. According to investigators, on the day of the incident, the rabbi gave the little girl some candy and told her not to tell her mother right after she walked out these doors. Rabbi Steve Caro is facing serious charges tonight. Miami Beach police say he molested an 11-year-old girl. According to the arrest affidavit, investigators believe the 55-year-old intentionally touched the girl on the buttocks over her clothes, sat her on his lap, and kissed her neck. Police say Caro is a substitute rabbi at the synagogue. We found his name on this list posted on the door. We went inside tonight. Is there anyone Nobody can get, can nobody can be, no, no, everybody out. We were asked to leave. Earlier today, the synagogue was closed, but we ran into this man who told us he's known the rabbi for years. I'm very surprised to hear anything. The rabbi's very nice. Innocent or proven guilty. The art gallery where police say the incident happened was closed today. We found this note posted on the door tonight. The arrest affidavit dates the incident back to last month, April 16th. It says on that day, the rabbi gave the girl some candy before she left the art gallery and that he told her not to tell her mother. But investigators say she did, and that's what led to his arrest. Caro was picked up by police at his Miami Beach condo today. According to the arrest affidavit, he denied some of the allegations, but said he touched the girl's buttocks for a cleansing because she was exhibiting some negative energy. No se puede. Police say the rabbi knew that little girl for five years, but we don't know the nature of the relationship. Tonight, investigators are concerned there could be more potential victims out there. Anyone with any information is asked to call Crime Stoppers, the number at the bottom of your screen. Reporting live on South Beach tonight, I'm Stephanie Bertini, NBC6 South Florida.